Well, here in Maryland, there have now been nearly 128,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus, but more than one and a half million people have tested negative. However, the percentage testing positive is now back above 3% for the first time in weeks. And this is the 10th straight day that number has climbed. WJZ is live. Annie Rose Ramos spoke with doctors as we see those numbers creeping back up again. Annie Rose. Denise, Maryland's seven-day positivity rate is now at 3.02 percent, just above 3 percent for the first time since mid-September. Now, doctors here believe that that uptick could be because of gatherings during Labor Day weekend. We're seeing an uptick now in the weeks after Labor Day. Maryland State Health Department reporting an uptick in hospitalizations, ICU beds, and the state's positivity rate. The people who are getting sick at Labor Day, they're spreading it to people who then spread it to people who then spread it to people, and it could take a few weeks before those numbers become significant enough to make a difference in the testing. With 501 new confirmed cases Monday and three new deaths, the state's seven day positivity rate is at 3.02 percent, rising for the 10th day in a row. Well, when we see trends over 10 days that are consistently rising, then I think we do get concerned. This infectious disease physician says the change in weather could mean changing how we live. The summertime was the best time for us to open up, but now I think that window of opportunity is going to be closing. Cautioning people to rethink eating at restaurants. Even outdoor dining can potentially be a risk. While Dr. Allison worries whether this winter pushes people indoors, where the risk of transmission is higher. As temperatures go down, people are going to naturally gravitate towards congregating indoors. I think we're going to have to resist that urge. As some of the year's biggest holidays are just around the corner. I wonder if after Halloween, after Thanksgiving, and after Christmas, we might see similar spikes. And doctors are urging everyone to get a flu shot and stressing how accessible COVID testing is now. There are over 200 testing sites throughout all of Maryland, like this one here at St. Agnes. Now, this one is only open to St. Agnes patients and by doctor's appointment only. But for a full list and to find one in your neck of the woods, head to WJZ.com. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.